Oz told me the endorsement has opened doors and that people call him back faster. He also thinks it's moved polls. Well, President Trump's endorsement did make a difference to some of the people I talked to today, but that didn't get them all the way into Oz's camp. Oz still had some work to do to get their vote. And they're saying that Mehmet is not a conservative. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Former HUD secretary and former presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson today vouching for Dr. Mehmet Oz in Bucks County as Oz works to win over voters in a bid for Senate. This is a time that calls on all of us to be brave. The event today in Bristol coming just a week and a half after former President Trump endorsed Oz, shaking up the race but not deterring Oz opponents and still leaving some voters with questions. I love Trump and that's why I'm here. Well, so thank you. <laughs> my question is, why would he endorse you? The endorsement convincing some voters to give Oz a look. I'm still waiting to see what happens. He sounds good. I think time will tell. Uh, to be honest, I think maybe Trump compromised a little bit to get somebody who he thinks can win. But we have to hold Mr. Oz accountable if he does win. Are you surprised about some of the pushback that endorsement has been getting? No. I mean, he's a, you know, President Trump says what he thinks needs to be said, and not everyone's happy with it. We talked after the event about his conversations with the former president. The two of you talk about the 2020 election and anything he's expecting you to do in the Senate regarding the 2020 election? No. President Trump was laser focused on positions I would take that have been brought up today. In particular, energy policy was a big deal. Uh, he was really upset about what happened with COVID after Operation Warp Speed. We talked a lot about education in, in schools, but we have not talked about you know events, detailed events around 2020 and 2024. So you don't feel that he expects you to do anything in the Senate to um, invalidate that election? No, never brought it up. What he does expect me to do is fight for Pennsylvania. Oz's ties to Pennsylvania still raising some skepticism. I see him as a carpetbagger. The Exigians here to listen and make up their minds before the May 17th primary. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think Dr. Oz is a Pennsylvanian. And I want to see what he has in mind, what he thinks he can do for the state. Um, I just want to see if he's legit. Trump's endorsement didn't push them to come, but it did make a difference for some. It kind of threw a monkey wrench into my thinking because I kind of, you know, wasn't, didn't think he would really do that. So, Were you thinking Oz was not on the table for you before that? Well, maybe, maybe, but, you know, when Trump endorses, you have to look at it. Linda Morrison, wearing a Trump pin, says the endorsement convinced her to come to the town hall where Oz won her over. Things he says, I believe he's going to do it. You know, he's got Trump's support. I also asked Oz if former President Trump will be doing a rally for him in Pennsylvania. He said he's not sure yet, but that they're talking about it. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.